Welcome to the SIMS X-ray training video. Clinical Image Management Systems, or SIMS, has been around for more than 17 years. We have been voted best in class for service and support. Our mission is to provide state-of-the-art digital technology to our medical community while focusing on the individual needs of each organization. In this step-by-step -step video, you will learn proper and safe X-ray techniques. Your job is to maximize the diagnostic information while minimizing radiation exposure to yourself and the patient. The radiographer should minimize time in an exposure field and stand as far away from the exposure as possible. Excess radiation exposure is dangerous. It is important to protect both the patient and yourself from radiation exposure. Always use the best KV techniques to avoid repeat exams. Always refer to the technique chart for proper settings. If you have any questions or concerns, consult the attending physician. Raise the tube head arm, pull back and hold the boom arm release lever. While holding the lever, raise the generator or collimator to desired position. All movements are controlled by the friction locks and will remain where set. Then plug in the machine. Turn the primary power on and warm up the tube. The three settings that are important are KVP, MAS, and SID. The KVP is the component that controls the quality of the X-ray beam produced. KVP is the power of the X-ray beam. The larger the patient, the more KVP you will need to penetrate the body to the detector, cassette, or plate. It also controls the contrast or grayscale. The higher the KVP, the lower the contrast. Refer to the technique chart for proper settings. The MAS controls the quantity or amount of X-ray photons produced. MAS controls the time the X-ray is on. This is what controls the blackening or density of the X-ray film. If this film is too dark, correct the high density by reducing the MAS. Refer to the technique chart for proper settings. SID is the source image receptor distance. This has an effect on the density of the image. The SID is the distance from the tube to the receptor and not from the bottom of the collimator. This is why the visible tape does not start at zero. It's very important to use 40 inches or 100 cm and 72 inches or 183 cm depending on the x-ray site. When using the tape, be careful to replace it gently and not to release it, as this may cause the tape to snap. Refer to your technique chart for proper settings. The correct focal spot should be used along with all your other settings. When filming extremities or smaller body parts, you should use small focal spot or 15 ma to get better detail. Use a larger focal spot, 30 MA, when using a grid or larger body part that requires higher KVP or anything above 70 KVP. Always use the suggested KVP, MAS, focal spot, and SID techniques to avoid repeat exams. Always refer to the technique chart for proper settings. Activate the collimator lamp by depressing the push button. The push button is located either on the front of the collimator or on the control panel. Position the generator so the collimator light beam is centered on the film or cassette before placing the patient. Adjust the shutter adjustment knobs to collimate the light field. To minimize unnecessary exposure, keep the collimator as small as possible to the area of use. The collimator lamp will turn off automatically in 15 seconds to save bulb life. Move the x-ray head to desired vertical and horizontal position. Do not use the skin guards as handles to move the tube head because it can break. The skin guard's function is to limit the source of the skin and to remove the chance you are too close to the patient. Use a grid during abdomen and pelvis studies on a lateral spine or on a larger person. The purpose of the grid is to reduce the amount of scatter radiation, which can cause images to become cloudy. The x-ray beam will deflect on water or fat when going through the body. That is why larger patients need a grid so the image can be cleaned up. We highly recommend to use a grid or cassette panel detector enhancements to protect these items from being bent or damaged from the patient's weight on the detector. When you're ready to take the x-ray and use the operating switch, it is a two-step button. The first position is for prep. The ready light goes out and comes back on when it's prepped. The second position is for x-ray. The x-ray light comes on while x-rays are being produced. If you release the exposure switch too soon, it will terminate the exposure and the fault lamp will turn on. Depress the reset button and clear the fault and reset timer. Mm -hmm. 
Radiation is all around us in our everyday lives, often misunderstood by the public. The hazards of excessive radiation must be respected. The three things that are important are time, distance, and shielding. The radiographer should minimize time in an exposure field and stand as far away from the exposure as possible. Use lead shielding when in an exposure field. The most important areas to protect are the reproductive regions and the thyroid. When x-raying the chest area, ensure the reproductive organs are shielded. Is there any chance you could be pregnant? No. You must ask every female if she is pregnant regardless of age. If the patient is pregnant, x-raying anything below her abdomen must be approved by the attending physician. When x-raying anything above the abdomen or extremities, her whole abdomen must be shielded. Always use a suggested KVP, MAS, focal spot, and SID techniques to avoid repeat exams. Always refer to the technique chart for proper settings. Pediatric patients should be held by a parent, one who is not pregnant, and a parent should wear a lead apron and gloves if available. All children should be shielded as much as possible. For elderly patients, if the technician has to be in the room, the technician should wear a lead apron and distance yourself as much as possible. Always wear your film badge or dosimeter while in the medical department. The dosimeter is for your safety and will measure radiation exposure. When not in use, store your dosimeter out of the x-ray room in a cool, dry place. Very important not to store the dosimeter in the x-ray room. The radiographer should minimize time in an exposure field and stand as far away from the exposure as possible. Excessive radiation is dangerous and following these instructions will reduce your exposure. Pay attention to the error codes on the control panel and report them to SIMS at support at mysims.com. Take a photo of error codes and model plate and let SIMS know exactly what was happening when the error was generated. The most common cruise ship error is releasing the two-stage hand switch before the tube is ready. Ensure proper techniques to reduce error code occurrence. When not in use, properly store the x-ray machine to avoid damage. Position the generator collimator in line with the boom arm. Skin guards must be positioned to straddle the front leg. Pull back and hold the lever and slowly move the generator to its storage position. Release the lever. Secure to wall, lock both wheel brakes. Taking an x-ray can be an important and sometimes life-saving diagnostic. It is important to be familiar with proper operating procedures to ensure accurate results while keeping radiation exposure to a minimum. Remember to always wear your dosimeter and practice ALARA principles. Following these procedures will maximize the diagnostic information while minimizing radiation exposure to yourself and to the patient. If you have any questions or concerns, consult the attending physician.